Bye 23, it's Wednesday. That means it's time for another Science with Sarah experiment on the road. This morning, Sarah Spivey and her trusty assistant, David Sears, are out at the STEM Academy at Nimitz Middle School on the north side. Good morning, guys. So what kind of experiment are you doing today? And what the heck was that in the, the tank of water there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. That was an axolotl. His name is Newton. Fitting name for a science class mascot. An axolotl is a type of salamander, and he was eating some bloodworms from my hands. It was cool. Today, David and I are conducting a science experiment with wonderful sixth graders here where we're turning tea bags into lanterns, rockets. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a tea bag, all right? But this needs to be those old school kind of tea bags with the string and a tea bag that does, is not sealed at the bottom, that's made out of paper. You're also like that. You're also going to need scissors. What what you're going to do is you're going to cut a straight line across uh, the uh, tea bag there and actually empty the contents of the tea out in a pie pin. Now we have a pie pin here uh, so that because we're going to be lighting it on fire, we don't want to catch the table on fire or have anything going on there. Then what you're going to do with the tea bag is you're going to turn it into a cylinder and set it straight upright, just like that, David. Keep on going, right in the middle there, bud. <laughs> I'm going to help you Set out, okay? And then, so, you also need a lighter. See, now, because, that's the hard part of the experiment. Now, because we are using... Uh, well, somebody uh, didn't cut it straight across. I'm not who saying who. <laughs> because we're using fire... So you got to cut it straight across. Yeah, because we're using fire, yeah. please make sure to have adult supervision. Then what you're going to do is you're going to light the top of the tea bag on fire and watch what happens. Whoa! Okay, it creates a current inside the ash becomes light and it floats up in the air. And something I like to do is try to catch the ash before it heads back to the ground, just to A, see how far it goes, which was pretty far from the table, and, and you don't want ash everywhere. But look how light this is, okay? It's incredibly light. So that's all you need. Tea bag, pie pin, try to catch the ash, lighter. And now, our wonderful sixth graders here at the STEM Academy at Nimitz Middle School have been waiting a long time to get this science experiment going. Are you guys ready to do this? Yeah! That's awesome. Okay, well, coming up after the break, these sixth graders are con going to conduct the science experiment themselves. Hey, you could try to do it along with us at home if you want. We'll be back right after this. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're at Science with Sarah at STEM Academy at Nimitz Middle School. We're about to make some teabag rockets with some awesome sixth graders. So let's get started. If you wanted to, you guys, if you wanted to light your top of your teabag on fire there. Here, push this one down here. Like Look that. at it. There's our first there one. There we go. Three, two, one. It's almost awesome. gone. And here comes the ash. Okay. Wow, all right, Whoa. next, go ahead, dog get, dog get set up. We're gonna go as fast as we can So the here. way that this happens, the reason this happens is because it creates a convection current inside of the Whoa. cylinder and the hot air rises, okay, causes ahead. the light ash to rise. Now, these sixth graders here have been studying about wildfires. It's okay, it'll still, even if it falls it. over, it's all right, you got it in a pie yeah. pen. So let's try this one again. So that's a great example of how if it doesn't stay upright, it may not, it may not go up in the air because it has to have that column of hot air. Uh, these awesome sixth graders have been studying natural disasters. There goes one. And this is a way that wildfires spread um, pretty rapidly. They create their own currents and that can cause additional fires to start. So when you do this, you want to make sure you light the top. Oh my goodness, there's the ash. You want to make sure you light the top of the tea bag, not the side or the bottom. And if it tips over, it may not, it may not go up in the air all the way. Okay, you ready? Oh, let me help you here. I'm going to hold this and then you can light it at the top. Let's, let's see what happens. Nice. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. There it goes. Stay up. Stay up, right? There it goes. Woo! What did you just say? It smells like marshmallows. It smells like, like marshmallows. marshmallows. That's right. So now, what did we just create? We just created fire, actually. Let's try this it's one like here. That movie. So again, if you want to try this at home, all you need is a tea bag, some tin foils, some scissors, and you should be able to do it at home. Look at there. Look at that. 
They have make a pocket. So once again, what are we uh, what are we creating here? We're creating convective currents inside Go of ahead. the tea bag. Good. Oh. Convective currents. So we're con we're creating convective currents inside of the tea bag. Inside so of the tea bag. You have bag. a great example of one that needs to be recut across the yeah, top. Yeah, you were watching there. me because it needs to have a flat surface at the bottom. All right, that should All right. work there. Yeah, go for go it, ahead. guys. I'll go ahead, fire away, so to speak. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know there's a, the air conditioner's on. <laughs> you know, it's hot. So what do you guys think? You think this is fun? Convection current. Look at there. Nice. Oh, it's all right. Look at, look at it's all okay the because if you have going, multiple tea bags, you can do it again. With Farka, go and ahead. And you can actually see how, even though all right, it ready? wasn't in its cylinder, it's still creating we go. its own convective Three, currents and two, causing it to fly one. around. Let her rip. Look at y'all. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, they're doing awesome. That is awesome, yeah. guys. And it goes out before it gets up to the ceiling. All right, y'all fire away. Y'all keep going. We've got about a minute left. So y'all well, keep. Watch it. It's going to go up. Yeah, see yeah. how it goes up, the lighter it gets. <laughs> it smells like burnt blue, too. Fell over? It's all right. It'll go up. Watch this. There it wow, goes. Wow, guys. All right. All right. Oh, we lost one on the floor. Okay, so I have a, a couple of questions for you guys. Last one. Um, what was our hypothesis at the beginning? That it would fly up. Yeah, exactly. And do you think that hypothesis was right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, for years it wasn't. <laughs> but hey, you can do this at home. Again, if you want us to come out to uh, your school and conduct a science experiment, you can email sciencewithsarah at ksat.com. Guys, what do y'all think? Awesome. Nice. Okay. Next time we're going to bring some marshmallows. Yeah, we'll bring some marshmallows and roast All right, you wanted to be a star on TV, back, right? So thank you All guys right. so much. Here we go. Robert, real quick. So what did you think of this experiment? Uh, it was really fun. I like burning stuff. <laughs> yeah. I like turtles and uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm a TV awesome, star guys. now. You are a TV star now. <laughs> so tell awesome. everybody what your name is and what grade you, you're in and where you go to school. Uh, my name's Nettie. Uh, I'm, I go to Nimitz Middle School STEM and I'm in sixth grade. Perfect. Great job, guys. Good Give me all a hand. TV star. Good job. Back to you guys back in studio. <laughs>